Right boys, welcome back to the channel. Episode 11 of Caldonio Calcio today. Today we're taking on Siena. Now as you can see, our run since the Spezia and the Brescia game has been a run of three draws, four defeats and three wins. We've just completely gone off the rails. We've just managed to hopefully stabilise with a 3-0 win. Bizarrely, the toughest game of the lot was the Juventus game and we won 6-2. Um, a Juventus team that had um, Alberto Seri and Moise Keane starting up front. They were on good form and we absolutely smashed them. Hopefully now we've stabilised, but we will see. Tough game today. And bearing in mind our awful run, we are still top of the league, but only two points. I really don't want to get dragged into this playoff because we are probably going to struggle. In the last episode, we mentioned that we got David Platten as our assistant manager and because Giladino had left. We've also, unfortunately, lost some impressive youngsters. Um, Giovanni Doro, wing back, he would have probably been a reserve left back for us, backup left back for us next season. He has gone, didn't want to offer him, he didn't want to um, join us, uh, he didn't want to sign a new contract. And Gentili, exactly the same, he's gone to Verona. So a bit of a, a bit of a annoyance because money, we don't need the money. And also getting 82 grand and 80 grand, it's sort of like compensation means absolutely nothing to us we have got a lot of gaps in the staff a lot of big gaps now my thought process behind it is i don't want to employ we've just lost benito carboni out the under 20s he's now gone he's gone to manage somebody else we've got a lot of gaps down here in the youngsters now i'm going to leave it till the end of the season hopefully if we get promoted we will have a better quality of staff to pick from who will be interested. So I'm just going to let it play out, okay, to the end of the season. And then we'll have a real, hopefully, sort of like a staff rebuild ready for the assault on Syria B. Now, we've tried to swap roles. We've we've, we've been playing without a right, a right back as well. We've got a centre half at wing back, which hasn't been great. We've got De Guidi in there just now as a centre midfielder on support. The season is just catching up with us a little bit. Just a little bit, but hopefully today we can get a good result. Fabro and Ngissa have kind of fallen off the boil a little bit. You know, they were our main main boys for the season. We're doing it in patches now, look. He hit a hat-trick against Ferrapalo Salo, and then after that, look, 6.7, 6.5, 6.5. Stoppers tried to come in, not really done anything either. Fabro himself. Hat trick against Juve and then has not scored since one, two, three, four, five, five goals without a game. So I think it's going to be a tough one today. Real tough one. I think Siena, is, Siena in there, the seventh, I think. I think I'll take a point. Be happy with a point. We have got de a decent run in. We have got Piacenza last game of the season. Um, but the other games in between now and the Piacenza game at the last last game of the season are okay. We've got no real big boys in there. Having said that, our run after Brescia, apart from the Juventus game, has been in what we'd class as easier games and we've managed to lose four of them. So we will see. We'll maybe look at... Well, we're going to have to change tactic anyway in the summer if we do get promoted. Maybe a, more, a little bit more defensively sound. We had kind of built our squad around this tactic. But in the summer, there'll be so many players that'll be leaving anyway out of contract. We've got a lot of Serie C, Serie D quality players in there. So when their contracts are done, I'd say we'd probably lose 10, 15 players easy. Here we go. Novella will hopefully keep hold of him. Fabro will hold, hopefully try and keep hold of him for another year if we can, even if we do get promoted. The greedy, the youngster, he's clipped it out to Morotti. We've found Coley Keber, another player who's on loan. We've got a lot of loanies as well. It's going to be a big old rebuild. We'll try and get, to be fair, we'll try and get a majority of the loanies back. Uh, Karamoka, the ball winning midfielder in the centre of the park. We'll try and get him back if we can. I'm not sure where this highlight's going to go. Hopefully it's going to fall to a Salvamini, Karamoka. He's put a lovely ball out to Novella, who's hooked it in first time. And Giss is there, and he's volleyed it in. He's 19th of the season. 26 minutes in, and we've got a goal. 
no more than a punt in there. Was it a volley? Half volley? Into the box. Nice strike from Nagisi. It was a volley from him. It's the other end that's the concern. Can we keep a clean sheet? I can't imagine this game staying 1 0. Salvamini. He's found Fabro. That was half a chance. Five goals without a game for Fabro. Oh, Sienna's chance. We're going to clear it. It's going to fall to us. It's, he's going to fall to us. We're going to break it in. Gisse. Bit of a punt up the field. Clearance. Fabro's in. He's not missed that time. What a strike that is. He's 25th of the season. A bit of a lucky break because I think that was more of a. That was a. I don't think that was a pass. That was more of a clearance, I think. But what a ball in from Ingissa. And Fabro has smashed it in. 2 0. Novella just on half time. Oh, just wide. Just wide. I thought he got that. So at half time, we are leading 2 0. We're just going to stay as we are. The old dropping back defensive doesn't work with this tactic. I so said we're going to try and be a little bit more cautious next year, I think. Fabro. Karamoko. Ball in. And Gissa was hanging about there. He's fallen to De Guida. He's good with his left foot. He's scored. And that should be game set and match. Now, a lot of the games that we have lost and drawn, we've been ahead. It has been the second half that has been the problem. So, I would say, I would have normally said it was game set and match. But with this team in particular, the amount of goals we've conceded in the second half has been a little bit of a worry. As DRC makes a decent save. And who looks like we're on the break again? Fabro. And Giss is in there. It's a good tackle. Right, let's go defensive. We'll make some subs. People that we need to look after a little bit. Novella we need to look after. Ooh. Can we see it out? Can we get a clean sheet? With two 3 nils in a row. Great response. Highlight. Five minutes to go. We don't want squeaky bum time. I suppose they have got to get three. But it would be good to get a clean sheet. But we've just let... That centre half has just let him just run past him. Demetto, but the ball has, we've managed to get over the ball. This match engine is slowly starting to grind me down. No reason why my centre half can't sprint after that striker. Fabro, Engisa, we finished it off though. 4 0. Engisa and Fabro have come back to life for us just at the right time as well. 20th goal of the season for Engisa. Another player that we need to try and keep hold of in the summer. I'll be quite more than happy if I've got Fabro and Ngissa starting up front for me. There we go. 4 0. What a game. What a win. See how. I think it's Brescia. A Brescia or Spezia behind us. I can't think which one it is. I think it's Spezia. Spezia have lost. That's massive for us. And Brescia won. So they've caught up. So we're now five games to go. Five points ahead of Spezia. Six points ahead of Brescia. Our running isn't too shabby. So they're 17th. Arezzo, 12th away from home. Ali Bissolola, 16th at home. Pisto, Pistoese, 15th away from home. And then Piacenza. So even if we can win them two home games, and then it really does set us up two clean sheets as well in a row so what we're going to do is guys we're going to come back at the end of the season if there's something to play for for the Piacenza game we'll come back for that next week if not what we'll do is we'll I think we might play the Piacenza game anyway and then what we'll look at is the squad what we need to do in terms of the backroom staff we will hopefully have a lot of players whose contract will be up we've got a whole to be fair there's a lot on loan there's these boys here he will go, 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 he will go. All these will return. Some of them stop us signing for somebody else. And he's going to spell Bastoni, we won't renew anyway. Trioni, we probably will try and renew. But remember, if we go up serious Serie B, we're going to need that Serie B quality as well. And then we've got all these players, some of these players that we're going to try our hardest to move on. We'll let them go. We'll let them, most of them go on freeze. Um... Players like De Silly, Carter, um, Silia. I do want to keep hold of him. I think he, he think he can be useful for us. Um, Gavavoli, he's youngster. But we just don't, we're not going to have time to get them in there. 
especially if we're in Serie B. The Guido is wanted by everyone. Look, the big boys are now all chasing him. I think we'll look at extending his contract. He's only, he's only just signing a new deal. That's all right. We don't have to worry about that for a while anyway. So, yeah, we've got a bit of a re re rebuilding job. We, we should hopefully get a nice little batch of youngsters coming through very shortly as well, which will help. This guy was our latest youth product that's come off the uh, youth production line. So, hopefully... We're going to have a nice sort of like over the next three or four years of players coming through, but we need to get that backroom staff built up now in the under 20s and under the under 18s. We need to get that built up. So there are priorities backroom staff, and then maybe not quantity of players in the, in the first team squad, but we're probably looking at the quality of players that we get, depending on which division we are going to be in next season. So, guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please drop a like in there. This ep this series is getting nowhere near the amount of views as my other two series, which I kind of understand because it's a created club down in the depths of Italy, but I am really enjoying it. Any help you can do by sharing it, commenting, liking, and if you are new around here, subscribing, it really does help. Hopefully, in a couple of seasons, this will be a Serie A team anyway, so the journey will go right through and hopefully one day overtake Juventus. I imagine they're top. Yeah, Juventus are top. Obviously, we've got teams in there that we're going to... A lot bigger clubs in there. But I think that's when the series gets really interesting. So, guys, stay tuned next week. End of season. Can we get promoted two seasons in a row? Five points clear with five games to go. We will take that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you next week. <laughs>